Abdul Karim Al Hamoud lost his home when the Syrian government bombed an eastern Hama in December. He arrived in Rahma refugee camp in Idlib province 15 days ago with his wife and five children. The 50-year-old farmer says he had very good business back home, but he had to leave it all behind. The family went to Sinjar first, taking refuge in a cave. But the safety they found there didn't last for long. Government forces were advancing on the area. Abdel and his wife Shamia say they were afraid of being killed. I'm not happy. I'm not used to living like this. Here you don't feel free. We are sleeping with our children in one tent now. We were hiding in a cave when the regime forces advanced towards our lands. We were afraid they would kill us and left. After the bombardment in East Hama, a lot of people moved to Sanjar. We faced few bombardments after ISIL and the regime started their fight. We had to leave again and stay out in the wild, sleeping under trees. Eight organizations came and took us to this camp. But you see, this is not home. The camp was built only a couple of weeks ago and is already full. 5,000 people are here, but still, more are arriving every day. Most of them are poor families from eastern Hama. As the weather gets colder, the main fear here is illness. Hygiene is a major issue. So much of the prevention falls on the women here, as they are the ones responsible for feeding and cleaning in dire conditions. The primary needs are tents and things like mattresses, blankets and carpets. Also items that are specially needed by children and women. You name it, people in Syria need it. Even finding a nail clipper is an issue. Survival, not education, is the priority here. Many of these children have been on the run from the bombings for some time. Some of them haven't been to school in years. They're left to their games and escaped from the sad reality of their homeland. People have managed to escape the regime's airstrikes and the fight against ISIL. They were able to find refuge here in these camps in northern Idlib. For now, they're safe. But no one knows what will happen if more Syrians come to the region. Sinam Kusulu, Al Jazeera, Northern Idlib.